Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This time I'll be showing you how you can get the new overall achievement for Black Ops 4 for the Zombies map Ancient Evil. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to find yourself a dormant handle. Now in total there are 20 possible locations of where the dormant handle can spawn and in this next segment I will show you where all the locations are. Now if you know where the dormant handles are already then feel free to skip the next 5 or so minutes of the video. The first hint you get is the Golden Tyrus, the Gilded Taurus, sorry, and it can be found in the Spartan Monument area, which is near where the Gaia Shrine is located, and it'll be on the floor inside this pot. Now, the next hint you can get is where the arrow splits the road, and this can be found in this location, and it will be on the floor inside these rocks, just by here. Now the next hint you can get is the Fallen Statesman and that can be found in this area and will be only left just down these stairs inside this box, just by there. Now the next hint you could get is the workbench of Apophis and that is in the underground section and there will be on this table, inside this pot, just by here, inside there. Now the next hint is the shield bearer fountain, and that can be found in the store of Athenius area, and it will be just by here, on this fountain, inside this pot. Now the next hint is the general's column, which can be found just down these stairs and it'll be directly underneath the statue inside this pot just by right here. Now the next hint you get is, is the top of the centre of the world which can be found in the underground area and it'll be just up this slope inside this box just by right here. Now the next hint is the shrine of wind and sky which can be found in the underground area near where the pack wrench is and it will be on the floor just by here. Now the next hint is where the sorrow flows beneath and that can be found in the underground section and it's just on these stairs on your left on the floor just by here. Now the next hint is the chaos of the treasuries this can be found in the intersection of treasuries area and this will be inside this crystal so you need to knife this crystal to pick up this dormant handle. The now the next the hint is the serpent snare the eagle which can be found in the underground section near where the bird cage is located and it will be on the floor just by here. The next hint you can get is beneath watchful gaze of Zeus and that can be found near the shrine of Gaia location and it'll be on the floor just by there. Now the next hint you get is where sorrow washes over and that is in the underground section near the Odin perk machine. If you want to go there and pick this up and the next possible hint you can get is the purple blossoms and this is in the it's in this location just by here and it'll be on the ground. Seek the primordial weapon. Now the next steps hint you get is the steps of flesh and bone and that can be found in the underground section near the Sharon shrine altar area. It'll be on the floor just by there. Now the next hint you get is the wheel of water and that's it's in the underground section and it's next to this blue furnace on the left on the floor just by there. Another hint you could get is it's on the broken bridge and again this is in the underground section and to be on this bridge on the small old edge inside this pot just by there. Another hint you could get the chaos of venom and this is it again in the underground area and it's beyond the right side of the underground area 
inside this tunnel near where this trap is located inside this crystal now the next hint you could get is the bark of gold and this can be found in the store of Athene's area it'll be on top of this box just by here now the last hint you could get is where the mighty titan points and again this is in the underground area and it's basically where the titan is, is located and it'll be inside this crystal just by there on the floor Once you have the uh, dormant handle, you need to make your way to the sh Sharon Shrine Altar, which is in the underground area. You need to place the dormant handle on the altar and kill zombies inside the red circle for the set amount of time. Once you've done that, you'll be able to pick up the rent, pick up the red gauntlets which it gives you. And the next thing you need to do is you need to kill zombies inside the River of Sorrow, which is by the Odin Perk Machine. You want to kill about 10 15 zombies inside this big puddle on the floor. And as you kill more and more zombies, the puddle will get more red, which you can see just by there. Once you've killed around 10 to 15 zombies, you'll have a prompt on your screen that will tell you to drink from the river of sorrows if that means you have enough kills for this next step. Once you have enough kills, you need to drink the river of sorrows, then you need to look around for the, the coins. Now there are two types of coins that you can find. They are, they are, they are real coins which have the prompt obtain, obtain Sharon's Cobalt. That means there is a real coin. The fake coins are, are the prompt that you get where it tells you to extinguish the false Cobalt. That means there is not a real coin. Now at this next segment you need to get three real coins and place them on the altar now if you want, you can get the three coins straight away before having to go back to the altar. And also these coins spawn spawn in random places, but they're quite hard but they're quite easy to, to spot when running around the area. So you just want to keep running around this area to try and find the the oval coins. You can find three coins in total. See there I just found two pretty easily. Now again these coins both look exactly the same so you can't really tell whether or not it's going to be a real coin or a fake coin until you go up to it and you look at the, the prompt text that it gives you. See here I'm looking more for the for the third real coin where it's telling me to obtain the Sharon's Oval that means that it's a real coin and the, the um, extinguished the false oval is a fake coin. You want to get three real coins for this next challenge. And also for this challenge I highly recommend that you do this towards the end of the round as you can't, you can't regenerate your health at all. So you want to have about one to two zombies maximum chasing you whilst doing this to make your life a bit easier as well. going to be unlucky here with the coins. I think I find it here. Yeah, there we go, there's the third coin. Now we've got to place them all on the altar like so. And once you've done that, a teleporter will open in front, of the, in front of the portal. Then you want to go through the teleporter and you'll be in the challenge reward area. And in that area, area you want to keep on killing the zombies just like from before. Where you're testing out the new gauntlet ability so this part takes quite a while so i sped this up to save time and once you leave the challenge area you'll have the gauntlet required for this achievement now for this achievement i recommend training the zombies near the pack bunch area which is in the underground area now you want to have at least 15 zombies chasing you and you'll do the charge attack by holding by holding down right trigger and releasing it when you've got a good amount of zombies near you. So you're going to charge up your gauntlet like so and then release it. And if you've got at least 15 zombies in the vicinity, you should get the achievement like so. I hope this video has helped you out and I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching.